people are very nervous about an ongoing security situation that began on Monday in Boston, where the, the bombers still have not been identified uh, and apprehended. And in that environment, uh, everyone is on their toes um, because the situation continues. It's not resolved. It's not like, for instance, the uh, Christmas 2009 underwear bomber, where the bomber himself was injured in the attack and the event was over as soon as it began. This one goes on. And in that context, everyone is very sensitive to any possible indicator of threat or risk. And you will see uh, vigorous reactions um, by law enforcement and security agencies that exceed those even normally taken under normal times. And that uh, dynamic is compounded by the fact that the media then will cover them even when they routinely ignore them in normal times. Uh, and so that's our context uh, right now. And it's important to really keep that that perspective as these events unfold, because I guarantee you in the course of the afternoon, there's going to be something else. There'll be a plane that is turned around or pulled to a side of the tarmac and all the butt luggage is removed or something, something else will happen in the country uh, and which ordinarily would be completely ignored. But in this context, we'll receive attention and see the general sense of, of uh, fear and dread. Yeah, sure. Everyone is, is, is just understandably nervous right now. Richard, uh, and by the way, we want to let you know that uh, uh, we will be hearing from the White House within uh, uh, two minutes, we're told. Uh, Richard, I'm curious, again, in your capacity as, as Deputy Commissioner for Counterterrorism for, Counter for New York City, when there have been major events like what we saw in, in Boston several days ago, how typical is it that there are... I, I almost hate to use the expression, but, but call it uh, copycat or follow on uh, uh, things that happen, whether it's a Rice letter being sent to uh, a senator or something being sent to President Obama, et cetera. How often do we see that kind of uh, follow through from, from other uh, uh, ill people? It's not unprecedented, but it's also not common. Uh, and Adam, I think what drives this is less a copycat behavior than the fact that counterterrorism has uh, two basic dimensions. One is operational, which is the investigation, and the other is psycho psychological, which has to do with how the country as a whole or the city that's been attacked is reacting to it. And when you are in these jobs in government, you have to pay attention to both equations, the operational one and the psychological one. And the psychological one happens irrespective of any additional plots or copycat behaviors. It happens merely because people are watching something which happened in another part of the world or another part of the country and have a more acute sense of, of fear and dread for their own lives. Now, Richard, we did see increased security, at least here in New York City, uh, after Monday's Boston bombings. Uh, do you expect th these sort of headlines when they roll out of Washington to also in increase security elsewhere in the country? Uh, I th it will certainly increase mail screening mm -hmm. um, because we, you know, at the moment it appears, uh, subject to confirmation, that there were two letters mailed with a, with a toxin in them. Uh, and so places which are in the business of screening mails will uh, do it more acutely now. Um, whether other cities like New York elect increased armed patrols uh, and take other overt measures uh, is really up to them. Many of them uh, don't have the sort of resources and the depth uh, in their police department that New York does, but a few will. And certainly around official uh, events, uh, official uh, buildings and large events, there'll be a heightened uh, security envelope just because of the events in Boston.